All right, what's up, everybody? I'm here with uh, my boy Chris. How's it going? I'm gonna do a real quick uh, dual review of a game that's supposed to be a best of eleven between me and uh, Ivan Rosado. Just kind of going over some of the plays. It was a pretty interesting match. I think I played it like a little like shit though, but it's cool. I'm gonna do show both hands, just kind of like show like the interesting stuff because it's just, you know. Castro was Castro was pretty basic. Not too much here. Like I want to, I don't really fear the one summon breaker anymore. Like I used to when I was playing. Like breakers, breakers. They got it. They got it. But like, there's so much unchainable back row, or excuse me, chainable back row, like drag reach and shit. But yeah, you just and, have to set it now. And also, if he, what's he gonna do? Summon breaker. Okay, like he use that breaker on your MSU, swings into your spy, and then you have yeah. you can just Suki kill it, whatever. It, like you but then you don't have to play around breaker for anything else later too. Yeah, it's kind of really when I get rid of breaker sometimes. I used to just not ever set. I was like, no, that breaker exists. I'm fucking not doing it. So Thunder Dragons. Spy plays a weird like role in this matchup, right? Like sometimes he sucks. Like he just doesn't gain advantage, but like also he outs your flips and he can put a clock on you for sure. I mean, it's, it's not the easiest card to get around with her flips up. Yeah, it's a big booty bitch, bro. I mean, obviously, he's got Tribe or whatever, but it kind of forces... Aside, yeah, aside from Tribe, it almost forces a Chaos. Yeah, it, which is good. Or like, uh, the only reason I still play Torrential is, like, these spy boards get annoying, but like, Torrential's not that great. And honestly, like, does this make space not that great anymore, either? I mean, like, I'll side Torrential mostly against, like, you know, if they're actually playing, like, the Go Control package, you know? Yeah, it's just... I want to get my flips off, you know? It's like, summon... I set Deco, set Trenchel, and some Blade Knight, I'm like, I'm fucking stupid. What can you do? Uh, no, yeah, Trenchel's terrible against Warrior, for sure. I mean, what the fuck? He's, yeah, I just need your flips. This is cool, I get four spies. I don't know, was this even right, though? Like, I felt like I had an aggressive hand, and I knew we had two Thunder Dragons, so, like, I just wanted to go in. I could have summoned the Suki. No, but was that anything else? Uh, or set the Faith was the other play. I guess I really didn't want to get smack punisher because that's just embarrassing. Just pop, 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 pop. I mean, it's it's not a card you see up a whole lot in these types of decks, but it's something to consider for sure. I mean, it's not, it's not weird to see it. Would you set the faith or summon Suki here? Because I summon Suki put my spy face down, but like, I don't think I need to do that. You got mind control and what what else was in here? Uh, space. So actually, it's nice to cover options. So I don't want to deal with the back row if you start setting them. And then. Did he have spells? What's up? No. no. He just started dragging just spaced but it. I do the Suki play, but like, looking back, like I may have needed, because this didn't answer anything. You know, if he puts it in defense mode here, this board doesn't do shit. What am I doing? You see what I mean? I yeah, didn't solve yeah, I mean, and like, like, if you're waiting too long to have faith be good, then it just might, it just might just be way too slow for it to matter. I mean, if you're getting a... Uh, no thank you, Kat. I mean, like, if you... It's probably getting back line control, and even if they know it and they have that information, it's, I mean, it's still pretty rough. Like you have like a hard out or something. Yeah, I should have said You have to, like, you know. Because I don't, I can have no aggressive play here, and I made an aggressive move, and I can't aggressively follow and up. And especially with Suki, too, like if the, play, the Faith gets to flip, like you can get multiple things back right away. True, but he can't swing with that. I mean, I, it wouldn't have mattered here because he had the BLS. Yeah, but I mean, obviously that's not information that yeah, yeah, you yeah. have. It's yeah, setting the faith would have been a bit better. But then it's like he gets a free slam with a spy, but he does it anyway. You give him the information of the Suki only too. Yeah, like it matters. Like knowing they have Suki is kind of like information and goats really easy because there's not that many playable cards. True, but I think you have to heavy here because it's solemn. Yeah, I was like, anyway, I can make, I can bait this and have this kill. Uh, I wasn't gonna trade the kill shot. And then the next important thing, or like memorable thing, the discard here. I think I kind of committed to the aggressive plays again. If only had two cards in hand. It's like as aggressive as you were being before. It's like if you kind of let up, let up on the gas, then it should have been fucking go to discard it again, right? 
don't you don't have anything to use it with. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, I can't play this one more shit. So I did commit to the non aggression play, then the aggression play. Now I'm holding go, but I mean, he's at 28, and I'm down hella cards. Like, what, what am I trying to do? That was faith. What was that? I Dri probably would have done that. Nice, yeah. But it would have worked out if it was faith anyway. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. But you could actually do it right away. Yeah, I think I would have done it on the fucking, what is it, Sangin or something? I think I would have there. Wearing the Graceful is always, uh, doesn't feel so hot. Yeah, Graceful is fucking rough. And then here, like, what do I, do I want to meta? And then just sit on this forever? That doesn't seem good. When I see him get back Sinister as well. And you drew, um, oh no, he got uh, charity. I drew the faith, yeah. I think actually this might have been winnable if I uh, got rid of the goat. No, probably not. I think it gets rough here. You go for easy yeah, like at this point, it's just... yeah, but definitely discarding the, the goat was the play. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I got wrecked on this one. Hot draw two, the charity. It's an embarrassment of riches there. Bro. And I get my ass whipped too. It happens. Do you want to hold the, the the charity here just to make sure for the duo check? Because it's not like that they're going to just duo into your seven card hand or your six card hand with two diamond dragons. And then you can do it next turn, I guess. I don't know. It's yeah. come up. Well, you always also on me. It was always on me about that. He was like, you should save the charity. I'm like, well, do you play Death Shoot? Like, no. No reason to charity. Could be right. I can see an argument for it. I mean, I don't. Oh, I set the upside here because I just wanted to like, have a less committal hand, you know, if he does shoots. And, like, again, breaker, I'm not that scared of it. When am I drawing? I'm not drawing a dust shoot. Uh, so we do upstart. And that would be nice too if you dust shoot and then you, you know, use a card that like, puts him in the It's like, kind of cool, yeah. And what do you He crossed out. I mean, he's rude. What do I always say about that? You're impult and implant a false memory. Yes, almost. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This happened last time. I'm getting this. It's time. like okay, you know, like you know that I know he knows that shit. Part of the story, but not yeah. That one unknown could change everything about how they need to play around your shit. Yeah, that's why I play on Death Shoot too. I hate fucking Jar Greed. Like, that's that one thing this match has taught me is how annoying Jar Greed is. Like it's so good. You can't make reads. You can't like it. Your breaker sucks now. He don't suck, but like he ain't breaker breaker. Yeah. He ain't what he used to be. Alright, so that's where I get tracked to go. Uh, I set faith, he set faith, I lose this one. Oh, yeah, this one's fucking rough. This goes as bad as it possibly could have. Do we have to charity pot? Thunder Dragon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is okay. uh... I was like, cool, we missed the BLS and the Sork. I'm like, I'm lit. Out. As soon as he did it too, I was like, I hope he has a fucking mind control. I'm like, okay, there it is. Yeah, that's a. Uh, he exhorted you right there, but. Can you stop? Should be so much better than it is. I, I think it's just like you have. You, you're forced to use it on like not the best things, or else you can't use it ever. For it's supposed to be good against this matchup, right? Because all your cards are gas, but like, Spy changes that dynamic completely. Yeah. Can you do? Yeah, fuck this card. So swap is a very right place, or right time type of card. It's like, I like it's I mean, don't get me you, you 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 can play it very well, but it's you don't get those opportunities aren't always. Yeah, you just have to know, play it sometimes just to play it, or else it's just gonna be a card that's gonna what do you think, like you set it and you know hope they space it or something so you get a trade off of it. It's not the best feeling. I want to set song that I want to go get it spaced or something, but that doesn't make no sense. I should just like set song probably. I don't know. I'm gonna play one so it's like I don't want to waste it. If you play it right, you only need one. Three is also nice. <laughs> Three is okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Song was gonna be gas here and like take back the board, but he wind blasted. You also, like, you only have one song and they have three. You do feel like you don't ever get to use your song because you're afraid of getting your song song. But that's also like you set up crazy kill shots too. 
And if you have one, but if, you, but if you're like so worried about that, it's almost like why are you even playing the song then? It's song, bro. I mean, right, but I only play song to stop song. I don't want three of them. Cause you you have you have three of them. You have to use them on stupid shit. Like, yeah, yeah, no, that's true. One's good. You saw him on a Sinister Serpent. Trying to go for a game, you know, that'll work. Yeah. Little, little niche situations, you know. Mostly keep in mind. Mostly Breaker is what I have to saw him and forgot about him in Clan 3. 4,000 life points, saw him warning, still feels fine, kind of, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's also funny to discard Thunder Dragon, you're like, alright, good. Some breaks, but motherfucker. Got the light dark, I'm paying half my life. Alright, Mirror Force slap me. So I don't know how I feel about goats and fucking uh, spy. Playing them together? Yeah. I mean, it's obviously, it's, they, they're contradicting, but it gives you more, I don't know, it slows the game down and. I like the more goats, my goats being too cute. I mean, having the meta package is nice, but. I like the meta with Thunder Dragon, but like, you never should be doing that shit. It's so it's, rare. It's, it's rare. I mean, it, it's nice when it comes up, but it's like. If you only have one meta, then I'm like, oh, I'm about to do some stupid Thunder Dragon shit. Maybe I should and only have the one meta, so it keeps me from being dumb. Right. I mean, like, the, me the best thing about meta is, like, it gives you ways to deal with Chaos Monsters without using your Chaos Monsters. But yeah. then sometimes, like, you get into a situation where, like, okay, I got my Thousand Eyes up without a way to flip it down, and it's just... It's just big chill. Like, they, 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 it's going to be five turns later, and, like, it's... I could have killed this guy if yeah. I was anything different. Yeah, so set here. Let's see, not too much happens in this game, it's too interesting. Morphin Jar down, right? Yeah, it's Morphin Jar Sinister, but I set Sinister last turn. Yeah, I, think so. I was like, okay. Let's see, I think I should have summoned and swung here. I mean, it might have popped into a burst, but still. Goats. I was trying to ring, win this with Solemn, or with a uh, ring. Here I fucked up. So like, I ring it, and he Solemns the ring, and then he can break face down for three really. But if I would have solemn the breaker and solemn the solemn, then he would, uh, I could ring it and he'd be down the breaker. Here I lose it, but he keeps breaker. I was just really sad to see breaker there. Yeah, it'd be really nice to, in hindsight, against a deck like this, to have ceasefire available. For Bam, yeah. With the deck that plays spies and solemns, like you could really find a way to, like, when you get into certain game states, like, finding those alternate. Uh, wind conditions is definitely something to look forward to. Yeah, like cylinder and ceasefire are both. Yeah, cylinder. Parts. I mean, they're, they're limited to one for a reason. Ceasefire is just good. No, it is too. Like, like it kind of blows my mind. It also negates flips. Like yeah. if it just did burn damage or anything, it's a good card. If it just negated flips, it's a good card. My favorite do both. Uh, nice set of kin uh, kinetic soldier with ceasefire. And they attack with mystic level two. That's pretty rough. That's an OTK. That's rough. <laughs> That's rough. I didn't expect this to go through. It did though, I don't know. Yeah, he has Alex with the ring. Yeah, I got fucked up this game. Not too much at it. I feel like I was all playing from behind these games. So he would have set faith here. He's actually pretty aggressive with his face, which kind of fucked me up the whole match. I just didn't see a reason to set it with the book. It's like, and because of this game two mind control, like that's not fun. Mind control is broken, which is hard. Like the argument to like hold the faith and like set a different monster to like beta knock or something, like it is sound. But also like sometimes it's good to just go for it too. It's yeah, if you like, play the like, odds, it's, like, it's like better have it, right? You know. True. And like most of the time you're not. But also st like, statistically they won't have it most of the time, right? You you know, you're playing two out of 40, or 40 right. six, yeah. So, but sometimes you don't have to. Yeah. 
So like here, I like setting a spy because we set faith, even got faith. You really do want to spy before you start potting through shit. I, I would I would say spy is always the first set because you don't want to draw another one. See, here's the power of that position right here. I could not pass back to this. Like, there's just no way because the uh, the power spell is here. I have to waste the meta and the suki, and like if I don't have an out for it, at least I need this not to be windblast actually. I was like, at least I'll hit my light dark and I can vanish. If it's windblast, I'm just fucked. But if not, then I mean, you're just playing into it anyways, right? So. But if I'm, oh yeah, windblast, yeah. So like, I'm seeing the power of like setting the bluff here too, because like pot set sangin is rough because this shit happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you have to respect it. He wants to go through. That's smarter for me to let it go through. What was face on again? It's spy. No, his face time's ring. Ring, ring. Yeah. yeah, that was a good point on his part. Well, cause he, he can destroy whenever. He can ring any The spy doesn't matter, yeah. Yeah, the spy's not that big either. He's got two, right? So, like, he doesn't actually give a fuck at all. I rip pot, but it's fucking broken. But I draw almost shot it. Cross it out and sing it, it's just fine. I'm cool with that. I just don't want to cross out my face. So. This kind of set, like, interesting plays here is I could have, like, gone for a book play, face down, face up, take it, and sunlight to face down, face up, take it. I can clear the board with this here. So. So I've taken this. These just sat for two turns. I figured this was, like, the bluff, right? The one he set to the first one. I figured this one mattered, and I wasn't really sure. I mean, this probably could be... It really could be anything. But I figured this was bluff, this one mattered. And like instead of taking the shot on the back row, I'll just force it. Oh, did you break the equipment? I broke, yeah, I broke the oh, equipment. That's good. If I hit the back row, it's wind blast, it's jargery, like this guarantees he has to react to this. And I think this is the important one. Turns out I'm wrong. And then it gets wrong. So yeah, this is where I didn't wasn't sure if I was trying to get too cute because I thought about doing chain book. You, you, yeah, you could chain book and then desert something like that, and then you're gonna draw cards like witchy too. Well, I haven't manually flipped it either yet. No, oh, yeah, oh. So I could chain really book done, and okay. just flipped it back up too. But I was like, turn my Kochi on. Oh, yeah. Because here I can go at the light and dark, right? I am. It actually got pretty complicated because I have dust shoot and duo. So I need oh. to get enough cards in hand to be able to play duo and then dust shoot. But I can and I can clear the, the last back row soldier. So I think this one doesn't matter because I need him to go up to five cards. Because I'll take two or three. Because otherwise, if if not, then. I, mean, I would say hold the duo at that point so you can see his hand with the dash shoot. Yeah, take what matters, really. So you gotta figure at least one of those face downs is a something that's gonna add a, get a card to this. Yeah. I really think this one's the faith, too. I think this one matters, so I think I go with hit, bait the sang, or the suki. Okay. Hit. I mean, it could be anything. So that actually worked out very well for the, that, yeah. But the, most of the things that would have been faced down would have been things that would have either faith or that or... Yeah, if it wasn't, I'm actually cool with it too because you don't get that card back. All right, but right. You're going you're gonna to rip two. You're going to see his hand rip the monster. He changed Draugry to the uh, the duo, which is smart. I don't think he wants to lose the chaos. Yeah, I mean, he increases the, or lowers the percentage of losing. Yeah, or you could draw Sinister. It sucks he drew heavy. I think I, smite, or I spiked it here. Yeah, that sucks. Because I also could have done something like a white dark soldier book vanish, book the soldier, song the soldier vanish. It's kind of cute. And then my white dark vanish. Oh, it up. I mean, this is just a safe position. You got the book to protect. Yeah, this is. You, hey, you know Heavy Storm is gone. I mean, this is. Yeah. So 
So I know what he has here, Solomon Wing Blaster, I agreed. So I think I, I let him do his, his turn. But I think I could have end phased the sunlight. I flipped up the soldier, so now it can't be Solemn. And then I start my turn. And then, then I see, uh, yeah. I was going to say he needs a shotgun that, because he was set with blast. Yeah, he shotguns that. And then he goes for the, the wind blast, which is right. But if it was face up, I could have run it, which would have given me light dark too. Oh no, I have weight. This guy's here. Because now I have no weight. Now I was debating on ring or swap here, but swap's just better. But I don't have any more cards in my next turn to draw him a soldier. Spiking yes. the heavy with knife. Yeah, for sure. I mean, but even if you did, I mean, you're in pretty good position, I think so. Here, I think I probably should have kept the Thunder Dragon. Every time I double him, I'm so stupid. I set the book because I'm like, I don't have anything. If he has, like, Spy, at least, or the Suki, it'll, like, bounce off it. But I probably should have discarded the book because I could get it back to face. Yeah. But, yeah, he deals the fuck out of me these games. Yeah, I was about to say, those double duos are not nice. I thought this was like the perfect card to have too, the space, or the, the spy. Because I'm like, oh, I got spy, Suki, and the book. They like take over the game. Like, ripping cards out of hand in book format aren't, isn't usually that great, but when you're doing four, that's pretty good. Yeah, he double saw me, I thought it was cool. The worst card you could have drawn is that duo there. Probably, yeah. I think he played this one really well. Like, what he saw him. Like, it, was, it would have been easy to let that go through and save Solemn, but... Solemn is... It, it's not always as easy of a card to use as people might make it out to be. Like, you always stop anything, but you, well, which is the thing that you need to stop. Like, it, in, a, in a format like Goat format, it's, you know, usually more cut and dry, but, I mean, there is definitely more thought that goes into things at times. Yeah. Also, you play to a Solemn, it's cool I'm playing one Solemn, because you don't get that, like, lockdown where you have to Solemn stupid shit, but they always have to respect more than one. If they see one, they have to assume there's, if there's two more. And that changes, like, and it, uh, that, That's definitely not a standard thing to do. And if all you're using Solemns for is, like, baiting Solemns, then that's really powerful. I hate this C Spy thing here. It fucking sucks. Also lets you set however many back rows you want, too. Yeah. Those games get where like if you're just solemning you're just extra solemns and cards to get to it, like just turbo solemn. They're both just gonna set, 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 set solemns and eventually whoever saw the heavy storm first is gonna win. Like a lot of solemns I don't think is great for the game, really. That's like the equivalent of like a coin flip. I yeah. Like, I'm Some I mean there's skill to it, but the games do come down to that. This one I'm fucked. I thought about space in the middle one, but he drew the one blast. I needed him to actually, I needed him to solemn this, and then I was gonna space this one, and then I go for the ring. But he didn't solemn. I would have had to hit the 50 50 on solemn. The one blast is right. That's cool. I feel like most people probably would have solemned that tarantula. Yeah, it but looked, you realize you're down. It looked to, nice, you're, right? but you're down to like no resources. Like, yeah, he doesn't. Hard. He doesn't need, even though it's BLS. He doesn't need it, that BLS. You know, he's. To, it's really good. It, it makes it so you can't rip into something. Yeah, it would have been game right there. Yeah. So, you did a really good job of playing that ring. It's a good patience for sure. You don't see that, from, you know, from everybody. Yeah, sometimes I just be ringing shit too. Okay, but then the same game, he just played charity right away. So, well, like you know, if there's shows you that a card that's destroying four of your cards, like yeah, this seems like a solemn. Yeah, like, yeah, it's a good trade. And again, I just pass because I don't want setting fate to anything because I'm out of control. He sets him, so he's getting tricky with it. Got it cross sided. Fuck, this fucked with me. I was like, it's a spy then, right? 
see what I'm saying? Just well, yeah, solemn, yeah. weird shit. Play three. Not that it doesn't like that it's a bad play, but like you are forced to do it, and I like to be forced into shit. Yeah, we blast the one back here because I know that's nothing. It's either spy or surf right now. If he didn't flip it, put the new one back, and I get my uh, faith off. Which is broken because I get knock one, set faith, knock one. Yeah. The, d the double spell doesn't feel so good on the other end, huh? You saw him, but then you felt good. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to, I wanted to space first and get this shit spaced. So I want to summon it first and then space. I risk the third solemn, but fuck him. Then I have is it a thousand or so ring? But again, like you know, like it could be a third solemn. Yeah, but then he's but, a thousand but, like, ring. Yeah, and the odds of it being a third solemn is less than it could have been a one blast. Yeah, which would have worked. Yeah. It's actually okay in this matchup, but like against Warrior, you just die. Yeah. I like how in this four sets, nobody ran for a Druid to double Thunder Dragon, so it was a good game, good match. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that definitely sucks. See, I don't like the book here. I think I'm just putting this spot too. Like, what does the book do here in the mirror match? Like, yeah, it hits Breaker. But like. Does he actually knock your, um, your Breaker? No. You book down the breaker summon. But you could just let that go and just set like faith or something, I guess, for Sinister. I don't know. I guess it also sets him up to like draw a good card too. So you, well, you're saying he doesn't knock? Because I kind of. Oh, that's a serpent. Never. No, it's not. That's faith, right? Yeah, it's faith. So what does he give like, What does he have? Oh, he just, he just set book and uh, faith. I kind of like on. If, if I'm him, like. If I see you or discarding Thunder Dragon, right? I almost kind of like the knock on the breaker because you get the dark out of there. So you and, know, two and, 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 and then you can, you know, and if you like, you're, oh, I want to hold this knock for like, you know, his face down monster. So you could just get that back yeah. with the faith, which is probably better, right? I mean. I definitely don't mind the knock here. Because, yeah, then I flip it and swing. I'm like. And when he books, what did so you get an upstart? Yeah, that would have been way better. And then he has the knock again. And. You know what I mean? Or just upstart last turn and grab upstart. Yeah, but... One of the two. Yeah, you have to commit to it. I think your play's probably better, but, like... I mean, he doesn't know your hand, obviously, but... I mean, sometimes getting the darks in the grave is what you can struggle with. And then if you know you have another I've already got the Thunder Dragons out. Like, if you have a Dekoichi you draw, like, you have to summon it now. Do you like the, the, the duo here? Honestly, most of the time, like, even if they have Thunder Dragons, I usually just pop... Like, if you wait too long for duo, it's, like, almost never going to do anything, like... You have a higher percentage to hit something that's not a thunder. You're only really getting rid of one card, but that's. That, I don't know how much better you're gonna do with it. True. Like unless you you wait for them to use wing blast up and this and that or whatever, you can get into life point issues. Like, I don't know. Hey, so this was a cool back and forth right here. So he's at 54, and I have light dark, so I can summon set swing, but I'm afraid of the back row. I think I have good reactive cards too. I haven't seen a Kaiku from, so I'm too scared of that. So I get some, go back into. Ah, this, no, this is a different game. This is pretty basic. Oh, yeah. See, like, so you, you play it back to. Yeah, the discard the Thunder Dragon, yeah. Because I gotta get the Dark Engrave in case this gets got. Like, snatch from Mind Control. Right. If I snatch Book and the Mind Control, I lose. Well, here I can actually still win. Yeah, you, you know, he discarded his dark off of it. Yeah. Which, I need to get my dark in the grave. Yeah. So that was kind of interesting for, like, you know, our ring shot. And last game. Double chaos and scapegoat's been my thing. Yeah, it's, uh... It looks gross until it isn't. Yeah. Dude, he beat my ass for spies this whole match. He didn't want to revenge for that double, that quadruple spy action in the first game. Okay, so this was this was a cool spot. I really thought, and I think maybe I still should have, 
mind control to spy. The back row is like rough. I didn't want to get uh, like wound blasted. But mind control to spy. Book to spy. Face down spy. Flip face up spy. Spy gets spied. Sack spy. Wound dragon down the chaos is alive. Yeah, that, that's definitely a play. But like, there's a lot of ways that could go wrong. So I tried to set Psalm to guarantee it and just face it. It's just, I mean, like. I'm definitely being forced that, into that, action. That's a play you can do, but like, that's. I'm all in. A walk, yeah, you're all in on it, and it's not necessary. It's the beginning of the game, you know. This isn't current format. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, but spies put you on a fucking clock. That that's one reason why, you know, I don't know. I, I started like liking Vortex more and more, but it's still a card that I end up like not playing. <laughs> I don't know, like. It's nice to have outs to those like whiteboards like that. Which is the reason why I don't see him ever not playing Tribe. Yeah, Tribe's broken. I'll take out game two. Or where I'm going first a lot. But. So here, as soon as he... Not when he gets back space, but when he plays the space, I know I'm dead. I was like, there's no way this is good. And then Tribe comes down. I'm like, alright. I'm just going to like discard, kill the Sing, and get the light. Yeah. I was pretty trash out. Let's see. Two chaos, man. <laughs> Here's cool because, like, how many sorcerers you got in the league? Eight. Here's cool, by the way, because, like, no one's going to hit the fucking morphin jar. Like, what are you summoning him with? Right. I guess you, if you set a, mo a, set a spell or trap with the morphin jar, you do increase the chance you get a breaker. But if you just scold set jar, 99% of the time in her mirror, it's going through. They're not gonna summon fucking Deco and hit it. Well, now they might. Yeah. Morphin Jar's one of those cards, like, you have to. I mean, if you make it obvious, it, you know. I'm saying one about Morphin Jar, and you, you can't be afraid of the bitch resolving. I mean, you play the card for a reason, yeah. right? I mean. Yeah, mix it up. Here sucks, like, you're both my boys. But, but look at the advantage you gain off of it. Yeah. Two thunders though, so I didn't really get much from him, and I wonder it's great. But no dark is huge, and you always be afraid of the book back. Yeah, that is. I mean, that is a real thing. Yeah, I was sad to hit the spies. I hope he drew one. God. And here is one of those rare, rare fucking games where you do go into the level five. Like he's down. All his darks are gone. Just mm -hmm. knock three of them so there's a Sangin, Deco, Snatch, um, as an out, right? Um, yeah. And Breaker. There's not a whole lot. Your yeah, Walter, I mean, he hadn't used any power spells yet. Yeah, because that's the worst part, is hoping Jar passing him and then just fucking And turn then you know, he, he figured he's got to have at least one, you know, banger of a normal spell in hand. That's, And then, like, there's really, the spies are gone, so any monster he sets is. It's like you can't even set a monster unless he has a way to deal with it because you're just gonna yeah be, be I'm bossing but you're plussing every time. I didn't or like I'm afraid to set here like not this turn because I summoned but so he sets 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 so I didn't set the other song. He did set heavy with it so my, my, I, I would imagine like, you know try to get the heavy off if you set more like True. you know your safety chain song then he has another song for follow up for the next. Yeah. Oh, it's like summon Suki, putting it face down. Mm -hmm. And then, like, if I saw him, I right. saw him and put heavy or some shit. Yeah, I get it. I need an 8k here, though. So I thought it might be a water. You need a cold snatch here, right? So I want to set. I want to set Sinister, really, because I'm not doing much with it. Probably should have set the faith, though. But, like, I'm just begging for snatch. Like, it just makes it worse. Yeah. I can see him not. Uh, snatching right away. Just, just, just chilling it. on the vaulter here is perfectly fine. And I'm all my spells kind of suck. I feel like committing anything more can only really go bad. But I could also win the game right off the Suki, too, if it doesn't get stopped. Yeah, here I'm like, what's he set here? A dark monster. <laughs> right, but I'm like, alright, so does he have anything to stop my swing? 
can't be mirror or can't be a uh, wing blast. The wing blast would solve this dark monster issue anyway. Right. So like I'll just cross that out instead of mind control. And it does solve them. Like, okay, so now I know it's a dark monster. Oh yeah, summon Suki, face down, face up. See, this is when it backfires he didn't set the second song because he could have solved the Walter off the flip. Yeah, he could have. Well, I mean, he can't. He still die, but. Yeah, that's true. I mean, but then. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, that sets up the pro play, heavy play with the, I don't know. I, mean, I like this play. It, it's. You put him in a really bad position with yeah, the Walter. Yeah, so. was nice. What do you say he could have done something here? He was. Oh. So he could have crashed the Sangin into the Balter, right? Had nothing to do about that. And the Catalan will be negated, whatever, but then he has the Dark and Grave. Yeah, and then he can go. I would still have the set mind control. He would. Do you hold the two Solemns there, or do you flip heavy? And set Solemn. He doesn't set, so like let's say he does that. So he slams the into Balter, takes a thousand, goes down to two thousand, then white dark, summon sorcerer, banish the Balter. Um, and, and then heavy set the other solemn. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Heavy set the other solemn. And you had two down at that point, right? I go to my control. I mean, like, what are you thinking it is? Like, he probably just, you know, play Jar of Greed and stuff. And I, I, that's, but yeah. I did after Morphin Rose, so it could be anything. I mean, is it better to have the heavy and then Solemn, or just the two Solemn? Probably the two Solemn. I mean, as soon as he summons a Sorcerer, he's putting his whole game into that monster. Yeah. So, like... Clear you, you have to drop it before you Solemn, though. Yeah. Before you have it, it's annoying. You, you do. So then he would do and that. Then, yeah. Oh, my bad. But yeah, he could have done that, and then I would have had Sorcerer in hand, Mind Control set, Scapegoat set to his... And he said he would have played the duo. He would have gone to a, down to a thousand, though. Yeah. That would have been interesting. I have the Sork to two Solemns. So I'm not control each one of the Solemns for sure. Sork beats the other one. I can set Faith and have Scapegoats. I still probably win. Yeah, I'm still winning that game. But that would have been the play. The Morphe Jar really came up in the work for you in that game. That's my boy. I love this, like this hand right here. He's got Thunder Dragons, and then he gets to thin the Spy for the Spy, and thin the Sangin, and I just draw fucking gas. Yeah, that's Jar Greed just looks beautiful. One thing I, I noticed playing this set was like how good of a fucking card Jar Greed is, and how like you can't make reads on the card. Like if he's gonna see his Trinity, as you saw every game, he saw his Trinity faster. Yeah. Like. I kind of like uh, not setting Solom upon him. Like just at the jars. Yeah, because like if he heavies, you like you're not gonna use solemn, obviously. Well, you might, right? I keep my two jar gates and lose half my life. No, it's fine. No, probably not. I mean, <laughs> like, it's, not it's not worth with the spy. But I see what you're saying because no. like you heavy, you're losing solemn for no reason. If you're gonna heavy against two cards, you're gonna probably do it anyway, right? So and then then you have the solemn to use for something else. I just don't see. But you also wouldn't want to not set Solemn. You're like, oh, now I'm pod. You just got that. Yeah, but also it's like, I mean, what are you really afraid of that you're going to do on your first turn? Like, I don't want to get knocked here. Turn. Like, knock is, I mean, knock, yeah, it kind of sucks, but it's, it's not It's not that bad. You know, it's not like it's that crucial. It's pretty crucial to get your spies off here. Depending on what you draw. That's, that's true. It's just, I don't know. But like, like you were saying before, it kind of puts you in a position to where you have to Solemn something. Like yeah. the first decent thing right there. That's just playing through Solomon's no. I mean, getting your spies on, yeah, I mean, it, it's not great, but it's not like like no. a crippling thing, you know? It's sinister. I wish I would have got a draw. I could have got just on mine. But spy is good. Sinister is such a weird card to get. Like, it never impacts the board in the mirror match. If you, want, you always have extra cards because it's mirror. Yeah. Sinister is not as good as it like seems to be. So you do pot. Thank God he says hang on faith. You mix it up there. That would have been rough. The serpent's one of those cards I always remember being a lot better than it seems to be a lot of times, you know. Yeah. It's, it's still a great card, but like of it's not a it priority is. to get. I just I think I remember just being like such a powerful card. Like I don't know if it maybe seemed that way back then. He's got a full house. Yeah, I know, like he pots. With faith in hand, two more pop, and two more faith. Yeah, it's looking rough. Mm 
This one's cool because I know this is a bluff because you didn't flip it. So I have the sunlight here so I can do some cute shit with the book in the sunlight. But now I know that's fucking, like, not know, but I have a feeling it's bad. I need to get rid of that card. You know, and I'm surprised you. Um, yeah, I don't know how he lets that go through. The meta there? I have two cards left. You have two jars. If you saw him, you could just fucking die. Well, no, because I don't have a light. Yeah, I think you have to saw him that. You could. No, so saw him the meta. Saw him the meta, yeah. But then again, like, do you need to? Yeah. He should have been done flipping these jar greeds. I think. Or was that my. No, you could have. Like, as soon as you flip the spies, like, you're free to wow the fuck out. Why do you say knock? Because he wants to get the little last I guess? Yeah, I guess. Exactly what you're talking makes sense. So here, I could have avoided this last fate too. Summon Suki, it gets solemn, right? So you mean yeah. he ends up soloming it at any on the flip side? Yeah, you know, so I think you did solemn that, yeah. yeah. Here I was regretting because like I, I just had a hard feeling that was faith. And I could have played around the solemn actually. Heavy. Set, set, and then I can uh, book, flip, set, and flip it up. But it is faith. It's back bottom. Okay, I think I lost this game. I can't take your pain. Are you in Texas? I mean, Jerry's, I'm not going to flip it. Sure, I lost it's, this game. It's not feeling fantastic here. But I had to play to like play around it. So this is a great draw. I'm like, okay, because I drew this, like, I'm, I'm down bad. But like, because I drew the faith, I can actually, I don't have any whites here. I can't risk getting knocked. So I'm like, I can get the faith in the grave, get rid of his faith, and then actually have a chaos, so like draw. Yeah. Like sunlight was pretty cool here. Gets back the meta. So he didn't kill me. Wait, aren't I dead? I'm at 8,000, right? I'll be that's a spellcaster too. Try Bob. Nah. Yeah, no, that's not a good one. This was stressful too, because I'm like counting the fucking card. I'm like, there's a spy there, a spy fucking on the field. This is exactly, or this is just enough, but if that's a spy, I'm gonna fucking die. But we got there. That's a great example of go for it. You can have like draw turn to get all the card advantage, but like damage is king. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I ripped into fucking charity and the sure. BLS. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that helps. Obviously. Charity's the fucking card too, because it gets the white and dark. Like, it's oh just... yeah, I mean, it, charity is. Bring would have done it too. Like, there's just a lot. In most areas of the game, charity's better than pot of greed, even though it's a plus. I mean, yeah, I'm almost, I mean, pot, I'm the thing that pot's like, better, like, but like, like when they printed graceful charity, I'm sure they didn't envision discarding the cards to be a benefit of the card. Probably not quite as much as it turned out to be. Like, that's supposed to be, like, the thing that balanced it. Yeah, get rid of your best cards, bro. Or maybe just don't make a card that says draw three. <laughs> yeah. That's, you know. All right, y'all. That was just real hey. quick going over some uh, some plays. Really good match. What I learned from this match is Spy's a huge deal in the mirror. Uh, Denying Darks is huge. Jargreed's an amazing fucking card. Like, it just gives you so much, like, room to play where you just don't have. It's like adding the... Uh, the discard traps to you chaos. You can your power cards faster than them on average, obviously. You know. Yeah, well, I also it's slower, too, because like you set it for a turn, and that can really matter. No, it can, but then, like, you know, on, on those early game turns, you're not doing a whole lot anyway, True. you know. True. All right, y'all. Thanks so much.